Hi, my name is Emily Snyder, and I have a wellness studio called Relaxing and Wellness. Some of the modalities I use are under the umbrella called Energy Psychology, which includes EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, um, also known as Meridian Tapping. And this is a blend of a cognitive approach with activating the subtle energy system of the body known as the meridians. It's a great tool for helping alleviate emotional stress, sometimes physical pain, releasing charge on memories that you know are really old but have still had a grip on your emotional space. So this video is to walk you through a simple home practice. And the first thing you wanna do if you're gonna do an EFT session on yourself is decide what you're gonna work on. You then wanna give it a number of stress from zero to 10. Zero means no stress at all. 10 means it's highly stressful in this moment. So you're, you're capturing a number in the moment right before doing the session, not like how it used to be or how you think it should be, just capturing like how much activation is in your system right now. So once you've given it a number, uh, we're gonna do what's called a setup statement and then a reminder phrase. And you'll see what those are as I give an example. Uh, in this video, we'll act as if we're working on a very stressful memory from when I was eight years old. And let's say I'm tuning into it. I'm actually like sensing, oh, my heart's racing a little bit. It's really stressful to me. So I'm gonna give it a number of a nine. And um, so the setup phrase for this is gonna be, we're gonna use what's called the karate chop point. It's on the side of the hand or if you were gonna karate chop something. Um, so we're tapping on the karate chop point and I'm setting up the phrase like this. Even though I have this really stressful memory from when I was eight years old, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this really stressful memory from when I was eight years old, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though this memory from when I was eight is still really stressful to me, I deeply and completely accept myself. So we'd repeat the setup statement three times. And the whole point of the setup statement is to actually create space in the system. Like I have this problem and even though I have it, I still accept myself. So it gives a lot more room for things to move. Once we've done this three times of the setup statement, we're gonna tap through the actual meridian points with a reminder phrase. So for this example, I'm gonna say this memory from when I was eight. And I'm tapping, tapping the top of the head. And then the insides of the eyebrows, you can use one or both hands. This memory from when I was eight years old. Outside of the eye. This memory from when I was eight. Under the eyes. This memory from when I was eight. Under the nose. This memory from when I was eight, chin. This memory from when I was eight, and then the collarbone, which is the collarbone and just diagonal about an inch. This memory from when I was eight. And not everybody does this, but we'll do the inside of the wrist tapping points. This memory from when I was eight. And then I'm gonna take a deep breath. And I'm gonna tune into my system and see if the number, which was started at a nine, see if it's gone down at all. And oh, it's gone down to a four. That's a pretty big, uh, that's a lot of progress for one round, but it's still there. So I'm gonna do another round using a setup statement saying, even though I still am bothered by this memory from when I was eight, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm still bothered by this memory, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though this memory still bothers me, not as much, but it still does, I deeply and completely accept myself. And then tapping points with the reminder phrase, it still bothers me. Inside the eyebrows, this memory still bothers me. This memory from when I was eight still bothers me. This is outside the eye, under the eyes, it still bothers me. Under the nose, this memory still bothers me some. Chin. This memory still bothers me. Collarbone points. This memory still bothers me. And then inside the wrist. This memory, it still bothers me. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath. 
all right so it feels like it's gone down to a two that's a lot better but all of a sudden i'm feeling this heat and pain in my chest that's what's strongest right now so i'm going to switch gears and do around describing this heat and pain in my chest because the body's actually showing where the energy has moved to and where it's getting stuck so we're going to do a setup phrase even though I now have this heat and pain in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this heat and pain in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this heat and pain in my chest now, I deeply and completely accept myself. Top of the head, this heat and pain in my chest. Eyebrows, this heat and pain in my chest. Outsides of the eye, this heat and pain in my chest, under the eye. This heat and pain in my chest, under the nose. This heat and pain in my chest. Chin, this heat and pain in my chest. Collarbone points, this heat and pain in my chest. Wrist points, this heat and pain in my chest. And then we take a deep breath. <sighs> And let's say, for example, that's alleviated now. I now feel this stiffness in my neck. And so I would follow, it's called chasing the pain or chasing the sensation. I would do around wherever the sensation is moving to or showing up strongly next. And I would do this until, A, depending on how much time I have. Um, and I want, you want to bring the number that you started with down to a zero if possible. A one or two is great if you don't have time to get it all the way to a zero. Um, and with, for instance, these physical sensations showing up, you'd want to get them to a place where you're like, okay, for now I've done enough, or they're actually disappeared. And, um, and just basically to a, a gentle, uh, settled stopping point. And you might need to take some notes that there's more to do and you're going to pick up where you left off next time. So that is a simple way to do EFT or Meridian Tapping at Home. I'm happy to answer your questions. My website is relaxing-into-wellness.com and I would love to be of further support on your wellness path. Uh, have a beautiful day.